excellent work here. <laughs> and I would have to say, your problem is quite clear. All you want is a tinker, <laughs> what you envy is a schwein, a thing through which you can tinkle, or play with, or simply let hang. <laughs> you're, you're la 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 what? I'm his butt double, okay? <laughs> I play Al Pacino's butt. <laughs> All right? He goes into the shower and then... Hey, Erica, come on in. How did you get here so fast? I just saw you in Salem. Right, they, uh, they choppered me in. <laughs> What's up? Oh, and I see you're having a little party, too. Is she here? Huh? Huh? Who? Sabrina. I know about you, too. I saw you today kissing in the doctor's lounge. <laughs> That's not what you think. That was... You told me I was the only one! <laughs> <laughs> all right, look. That's it. I don't think we should see each other anymore, all right? Look, I know I should have told you this a long time ago, but I am not... Drake Remore, okay? I'm not even a doctor. I'm an actor. I just pretend to be a doctor. Oh, my God. Do the people at the hospital know about this? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody want to help me out here? Can't you see what's going on here? This man is dying. Uh, cut. Can't you see what's going on here? This man is dying. Uh, cut. Uh. Can't you see what's going on here? This man is dying. Ah! Mommy! Uh, Can you see what's going on? This man is dead. Oh, Drake. I'm sorry, Amber. It's just like Brad to have to have the last word. I'm sorry I'm late. What happened? We, we just want to see the end. I want you, Drake. I know you do. But you and I can never be together that way. What? There's something I never told you, Amber. I'm actually your half-brother. What? <laughs> so what happens next? Well, I get the medical award for separating the Siamese twins. Then Amber and I go to Venezuela to meet our other half-brother, Ramon. <laughs> and that's where I find the world's biggest emerald. It's really big, but it's cursed. <gasps> God, that is good TV. <laughs> Amber, I want you to know that I'll always be there for you, as a friend and as your brother. Oh, Drake. What a day, huh? First the medical award. This? Yeah. Some guys are just lucky, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Ramore, report to first floor emergency stat. Oh, well, then, uh, yeah, uh, I guess that's me. Anyone else need to go in the elevator? Dr. Wong? <laughs> Dr. Wong? No, no. They only said you. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I love you, Drake. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, no! Drake, look out! Drake! Ah! Did they just kill off Joey? No. Now, maybe. <laughs> All the way to the airport, huh? You know, that's over 30 miles. That's gonna cost you about so bucks. Excuse me, that's 50 bucks. What? Five oh dollars Oh, you know what it is? It's smudgy, because they're fax pages. Now, when I was on Days of Our Lives as Dr. Drake Ramore, <laughs> they'd send over the whole script on real paper and everything. <laughs> that's great. And, and, and just so you know, if you wanted to expand this scene, like, like have the cab crash or something, I could attend to the victims, because I have a background in medical acting. Okay, listen, thanks for coming in. No, no, uh, don't thank me for coming in. Uh, at least let me finish. Uh, we could take the expressway, but uh, this time of day, you're better off taking the budge. <laughs> You were going for the word bridge there, weren't you? <laughs> I'll have a good day. <laughs> Go ahead. This 
works in any milk carton. Wow, it is easy. <laughs> now I can have milk every day. <laughs> you got to pick a pocket or two, boys. You got to pick a pocket or two. Just lovely. Happy? Is that what I'm supposed to be, Vic? Happy? Well, why don't you tell me what you're supposed to be? Huh? Because I sure as hell can't figure it out. I talk to you, and it's nothing. You look at me, and nothing. Nothing. You guys make me fly. <laughs> Hi. I gotta say goodbye, and, and I gotta say it quick, because this is killing me. One thing you gotta know is that I will never forget you. But you got things you have to do now, and, and so do I. And so... I'm gonna get on this spaceship. <laughs> and I'm gonna go to Blargon 7 in search of alternative fuels. <laughs> but when I return, 200 years from now, you'll be long gone. <laughs> but I won't have aged at all. <laughs> so you tell your great great-granddaughter to look me up because Adrian baby I'm gonna want to meet her so long Vic I've done all you can Dr. Wesley you've got to let her go Goodbye and Godspeed, Hope <laughs> Not so fast, Wesley. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's right, Wesley. I just stopped by and say that you're not a real doctor. And that woman's brain is fine. Oh, thank God. You're not dying, Hope. You're gonna live a long, healthy life with me. <laughs> <laughs>